This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... What better way to kick off the weekend than with when an interesting subject is announced, like an X-Class flare? I'm rarely the first one to put a video up because I take my time to compile as much data, information, and awesome pictures and moving pictures as I can find. And that's cool, man. I pride myself on being the best, not the first. But in this time, it didn't help me out much because NASA must consider us like a two-year-old child with extremely destructive tendencies and an unstable mind because they cut out like all the footage almost everywhere. You know, like they basically cut out the majority of the good crap on the Lasco, on the Stereo, on the Sechi. You know, I mean, really, guys, you know, I know you hate us because we're Christians. <laughs> just kidding. Asterisk. Well, come on. This is an X-Class flare. We all know it's not going to hurt us. There's a better chance of NASA killing us than the sun. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you agree, NASA? I, that was all a joke. I, I, I meant that totally tongue-in-cheek. Asterisk. Hey, look, there's a little guy, the smiling face in the sun. He's back. I like him. He's cute. NASA, if you guys want to make money, you should get him in his own Saturday morning animated cartoon series. Do they still have Saturday morning cartoons? Or did the internet get rid of that, too? Okay, so we've had another X-Class solar flare, and the sun continues to be acting extremely irregularly. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that NASA and I agree the sun has been acting in totally unexplainable ways. Got that? It's true. We had our last solar maximum in 2001, so we should have had our next solar maximum on the 11-year repeat scale, like clockwork, on 2012. It is now almost the fifth month of 2014. We still have not had solar maximum. The sun has been freaking out. It's been acting weird, bizarre, in unexplainable ways. And I believe our government blames it on climate change. That's right. Cows farting and your car driving are causing the sun to cool off or get hotter. I forget which it is. I guess it depends on their argument for that day. So y'all stop farting, man. Anyway, the, the sun is the ultimate engine for our atmosphere and our climate. Without the sun, we have no climate. We have no atmosphere. And it, it has just been freaking the F out, bro. You know, I don't even know what to say more than that. What's going to happen? I don't know. Do you know? Who knows? And a lot of times the sun has like a rope of light pointing off of it. Which, if it were another star other than our own, we would probably guess that a neutron star was siphoning the helium or whatever energy it needed. Since stuff like that doesn't happen to our sun and isn't allowed to happen to our sun, that can't be it. You know what I'm saying? I do. And if you'll notice on the stereo head camera, the footage happens to be missing from the time of the X-Class flare. I guess that Jason Major from Universe Today was saying... If we would only double NASA's budget, then we could get twice the amount of missing data we normally get. <laughs> I gotta say the stereo ahead, HI2, and stereo behind HI2 cameras are my favorite. It's like a time machine. You get to go back into the 1940s. In 1940, photography and technology. Man, thanks for that, guys. What is that, like a tenth of a pixel? Our new cameras are updated with the new one one hundredth of a pixel technology. So it looks like an old Atari game. And when I say old Atari, I mean like the first week they came out with it. You know? Right, anyway. Man, it's Friday. What am I going to do? I'm going to help an imaginary girl pass her physics final. Yep, that's true. That is how weird my life is. And on that note, you'll probably see me make a few basic videos about basic physics. I mean, we could all refresh on that, right? I'm sure I'll throw in a lot of good physics jokes. It wouldn't hurt. Anyway, this video is pretty simple. Sun's freaking out. I wouldn't worry about the sun. I'd more worry about Barack Obama and Putin. I got a feeling those dudes would kill us way faster than the sun would. The sun loves us. You know what I'm saying? And I love you guys. Have a great weekend. I'm going to do what I can to churn out the videos like I was a machine. The sun is freaking out and the weather is going south. But I got no tales to tell, cause Timmy's trapped in the well. I gotta go get him, or the twelve monkeys will invade. Peace.